Hello and welcome back to House Find 4 with our French campaign, which went off with a little bumpy start. Yeah. Yeah. I still really don't know why. I was hoping the reload actually solved this, but I don't think it did. So I think I can repair it. I have to see how it goes when we uh, finally invade England. But uh, yeah, interesting stuff nonetheless. Now, let's see. 61 to 69 ships. We have 58, which would 22, 33 are battle cruisers. I think I'm also, let me check something. Yeah, let's pick that one up. Now I'm actually thinking um, of, I don't know. I've, I've actually got my thoughts about this. I was thinking about adding in Coring States mod. The reason why I'm skeptical about it is um, because because this campaign is going to run very long. It's going to take a while for for us to to get to that point. So it feels a little bit abusive. So I'm going to put this up to you guys. Would you like me using that mod? Um, it basically means that I can use political power to core um, states and get access to their manpower. That's it. So yeah, it's up to you guys. All right, let's unpause and... Uh, I don't know if we can win this. They still have about 200 ships available to them, so we're definitely not yet there. Um, yeah. Let's just keep going. All right. Shall I risk it? Shall I risk it? Yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't... But the thing is what I'm saving, I don't want to rebuild the fleet if it's not necessary, because it's gonna just gonna take an ass ton of time, and I don't think you guys are really in a mood to watch me struggle for four hours to doing that. Uh, you know, extra... An extra ten episodes. All right. Gas mask research is done. Doing. So we got our maxed out gas mask. That's a little bit too much ahead of time, I think. Right, support companies are relatively up to date. I don't really want to go for maintenance yet. Maybe it's time to get into tank research. Yeah, you know what? Let's dedicate a tree to it. All right, let's uh, invade England. Go whenever you... Oh, we're not naval superiority yet. All right. Um, in that case, stop. How much do we got here? Ah, right, they've got a little bit too much. Wait, do, doesn't Air Force add in naval superiority? Oh, but we're not controlling the channel here. Um, do I have airplanes in reserve? No, I do not. Uh, let's see, let's borrow one of these. Yep. And a sign from the army. Get to fly in there. Actually, both of them. This should give us control, right? We have more aircraft in there, so we're slowly starting to take control of everything. Um, what's the closest airfield that we can get? Uh, construction. Because we have some very close, like, yeah, we can just get a... Well, not, that's the wrong key. Get in Calais, Cherbourg. Uh, no, put them on a... Put two ready. I don't actually know how to... Cherbourg is not the way you pronounce it in French. So if somebody knows that, let me know. Because, uh... Yep, yeah. We're going to just reassign all air wings and to, uh... Fly over the channel. So we, uh... Can get this invasion on the road. We really need better aircraft. You know what? I have... I've got air experience, so... When is the next aircraft research? When is the next fighter? We can already have an improved fighter, alright? So in 32 days we're gonna start working on that one, and we'll improve the range, because that's just like the primary issue that we're having right now. We've got 40 aircraft flying around. They've just got active bombers, mostly. Yeah, we are really struggling in getting um, uh, control because the range. There we go. This should give us a lot more coverage. There we go. Oh, 
Just keep another mode. 27% efficiency due to wing specific average coverage, airways capacity, and supply. Air wing has no missions. Oh, well, that makes things a little bit more difficult. Okay, uh, let's integrate that. Order companies, there we go. Let's get the better aircraft. Let's take a look. How are we on factories? I think we're pretty good, yeah. Uh, let's up production, though. Free speech, and more political power. Unity in time of war. I don't really need unity, but... Ooh, stop dropping shit, neighbors! Especially when I'm recording. Um, hopefully we can outproduce them in here. We've got a lot of stuff dedicated to this. Well, they seem to be hellbent. And radar is not an option, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. It's definitely not. It's definitely not. That's... Encryption, encryption, decryption. Oh, they changed this entire tree. Nice. Yeah. Wait, what? I did not see that well, did I? Just a very short amount of time. So, apparently if you just boost yourself through here... 3,000 days, not worth the while. <laughs> What do we need for this? Excavation tool. Okay. Got a recon. Let's see what we can do. Some construction. No, not really. Infantry recovery rate. That's pretty good. So we'll pick that up. Just need to wait till we get control over the channel. Um, I don't think it's going to be aircraft. It's going to do the trick. At least not yet. Um... We're producing them slightly faster. No, we're not. We're definitely not. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to need a larger amount of production for this. And so, since we're not really focusing a lot on infantry, let's trade with the Dutch East Indies. It's a little bit more oil from the Russians. Not that much. Just need a little. There we go. That's also one too many. There we go. Unity in time of war. Alright, cool. It's not really gonna make a difference, but that's massive war effort. I don't think I can even repair those factories if I want to. Can I? Oh, I could. Still don't want to. <laughs> so that doesn't change much. Right, got around with car. Got more uh, industrial wide integration. Yeah, let's just keep going down the armored car. Um, tanks are not good early game, but um, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, ramp up fighter production. All right, this looks good. This looks good. This number is that uh, uh, stays around a hundred, so we're stable. That's at least a start, and we're going to improve off that. So, when is our new aircraft ready? These things have a lot more range, 30 days. Peace without victory. Woodrow Wilson has made a statement of calling European opponents to come together with troops between both sides. Alright. So, I'm probably going in for the advanced early fighter immediately afterwards. I think that might be a good, um, good idea. Oil. We'll trade a little more with the Russians. Um, even though we're gonna go to war with the Russians, I think it's a better investment right now. Let's see how are we looking on the uh, sorties here. We're slowly winning the air war, I think. Convoy raiding. Also gonna need another research slot to get my aircraft. I think we're no, we're pretty good in air doctrine, right? Yeah, we've gone pretty far already. All right, let's get better fighters. And then we'll just immediately go for the next ones. Yes, it is a little bit expensive, but um, I think it'll be worth it. Some more modern fighters. Massive war effort. All right, let's keep it up. Um, blockade of Greece. 
Let's get some... Let's see. This is just research time, right? Yeah. Uh, well, air is more important right now, so let's just concentrate fully on that. I could have just told... By the way, actually... Oh, cool, Lafayette Esquadrille. I didn't know we had that. Air experience gain, air superiority attack, air superiority defense. Oh, that's pretty good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, let's get some specialist training. We can... Let's see, propaganda press is fine. Yep, better trench conditions, ace spotter promoted. Let's just continue... Um, we're, we're, we're investing in naval, we're investing in here, so let's just keep going. Fire detection, we may be able to better intercept the, our enemy, air, uh, enemy aircraft. Massive education effort, that's fine, that's fine. War economy is fine. So we're all good, actually, on political power. So, just let's see, manage occupied territories. We can release Portugal, we have some occupants here. Um... Let's see. Nah, it's fine. We won't need the manpower. We need the uh, we need the rest of it. So, you know what? I just gotta tell these guys to go. When you get the chance, go. We'll slowly gain naval supremacy. That's uh, kind of what we're gonna aim for. Might be a little bit of a slow effort, but I think in the end, uh, this is gonna win us the war. So, why not? Surprised that we just at the rate we we keep spending this, you know? Well we're getting almost two a day anyway. So <laughs> not actually gonna invest in those factories yet, because we're probably gonna need it later for some other stuff. Um Right, create an air force, fighter focus. We get that early cast research done. Cause if we look at it, um Yeah. So by the time, well, way before that, we already can, we could start researching this, but I don't think I'm, I will for then yet. I think it's a good investment, though. Armored car. All right. Well, this is, this is ahead of time, but I think it's it's gonna be worthwhile, and then we might get tanks. All right. How are we looking on the air war? Control over the channel is important. Um, our aircraft amounts are going up. Good, good. Now, if we look at our aircraft ranges, see, they are now starting to slowly. Oh, wait, is there bombers? But see, there's a second line here. So, uh, is there. How much range is there difference between these? A uh, little research. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look real quick. So these have a range of 250 kilometers, even 400, and then we get these for 450. Plus these get slight, get an improvement bonus as well, so I think it's going to be worth it. Right. Um, one, 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 one. You're none, so we can just replace you. Then it's one, two, three, four, all right? One, two, three, four. Infinite, 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 and first flotte. The first air flotte, I don't know what it stands for. Well, whatever, don't care. Alright, got a new armored car, don't care. <laughs> Show outdated equipment. So, yeah, we've got a lot of these. Um, we'll keep them in. So, I'm gonna keep this button glowing for the rest of my fucking game, which is gonna be annoying. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Um, let's see, naval doctrine is increasing, we've got new battleships coming in, that's okay. Mm, soft attack or... Yeah, I'll think of prick up this one. There we go. How are we looking, England? Their numbers are going down not faster than ours. Let's see, let's look at the statistics. In the last few months, let's see, are fighters lost versus 
enemy fighters lost. So yeah, we're definitely taking the beating here. But look at it. It's going up. We seem to be increasing our numbers and our bombers getting disrupted a lot. So that's bad. But this is going in our benefit. So in... Uh, I need better aircraft. Well, they're coming and we're gonna immediately pull, put an upgrade in there. So they should become a lot better. Fighter focus. Wow, we can just probably keep researching some fighters here. Luxembourg, really? That's still considered occupied territory? We could remove the buildings, but that, that, would, that would feel cheaty, wouldn't it? Air superiority missions. Let's see, this will do nothing much, but it will get us better. It make us become better eventually at using ships, so, you know. Hey, wait, you can have more guys. Cool. Um, train six and add them into this guy. Yep, cool. All right. So these kind of use these guys for the invasion of England, and we're gonna need more oil. We're definitely gonna attack here. Uh, Romania is gonna also be a. Uh, but I want to get rid of the uh, England war first. Now, I still don't know if I can actually look at the war. But, uh, yeah. How are we on aircraft? Hey, we're finally getting there. And we seem to be covering a larger range. Definitely a lot larger range. Cool, nice. All right. Uh, that doesn't change the dude it's leading, though. A little annoying. Okay, just kind of... This is going to annoy me, so... Let's just delete these immediately. There we go. Don't care. Let's see, this one is going to be done... Soon, very soon. We should get naval control pretty damn soon, to be honest. Oh, they're just slowly increasing the ship count. It's just like, mm, let's just keep nudging ahead slightly, just, you know, to keep ahead. We could start hunting, but I'm really genuinely afraid that that's going to be a very bad idea. Yep, this one will be done the 17th of November. We just have advanced dreadnoughts. Uh, we have no naval experience, all right, so there's not really any point in trying to spend any. This is not useful. Our stability is good, so... Um, don't really need more factories, so... Uh, nope. That is total mobilization. It requires some stability loss. Which is my biggest gripe against it, even though total mobilization is not a really bad idea. Um, minus 4% recruitable population. We're only at 3.5, so we will lose literally all of our manpower. That's my primary concern with it. Right, let's take a look. Hey! We are now definitely managing to uh, advance the early fighters. Alright, this is the point where I'm gonna. Put them in. Uh, let's see. Range is going to be important. As well as reliability. Let's start with that. So if I could add, add weapons, will reliability suffer? Yes. Engine doesn't add into reliability. So I need to meet balance weapons and range. This is a very little, to be honest. Weapons are fine. Yeah, so we'll do this. Okay. Yeah, we can convert. That makes sense. Good. Six a week. It's going to be one a day soon. Very nice. Let's uh, put some more fighter efforts in there. 
All right, I'm looking on everything. Research is good. Let's keep direct cryo support. We're not there yet, but you know, it's gonna be useful. Uh, 128 days. Let's pick up the machine, get some more uh, decryption. English channel. The thing is, right, as, so, as long as we can keep control over the channel, we, um, we slowly will get the opportunity to actually start bombing ships that are present here. Now, we, our bombs don't do a lot of damage on them. Let's be honest here. Wow, 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 wow. We're, we're taking hits here. Oh, we're fighting. Holy shit. Okay, that's, this is bad. Oh, wow, they are doing the same thing as us. They've seen, got a lot of battleships. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I want you to repair now. Okay, so that is bad. So, hmm, paratroopers, huh? I don't think we can do that. So, it's a defeat. Makes sense. We destroyed 25 of their battleships. We lost 21 of our own. So, all things considered, I think we came off victorious, even though the game won't consider it like that. However, it does mean we need to start pumping up these numbers. Taking as much naval control as we can is going to become important. Let's start with that. We are going to need to build as many fucking ships as we can. There is no way to get on the island otherwise. post Great War stuff. Uh, fleeting being, definitely. Uh, Traded addiction. They switched these around. That's definitely not confusing me completely I think we did well I think we de definitely did well ah you have got fucked in the meantime of course because we for a second yeah I thought you had naval control it's probably how we got in the fight we had naval superiority um, just keep bombing the area all right so we got control over here they you, they loot basic fighters, Mark is really basic early fighters, and we're using improved. They also have got advanced already, so, you know. Their numbers will go down or faster than ours. Yeah, look at that. We just shoot one of them down for every couple of one of us. Uh, the other way around. Uh... Yep, there we go. Combined arms, just a solid bonus. Alright, so... How are we gonna do this? Because apparently my aircraft here have very little... Um, have had a very little chance to actually do any damage on ships. Now this might be because these guys just don't do any uh, real naval damage. So we might need these. Um, what is it measured by? Ground attack? Um, let's see, naval attack. Point, wow, you only have point five. You guys can hit ships, but you have a naval, non-existent naval attack. And this thing has no stats at all, so... Okay, so but we can go actually down the street a lot. Alright, we've got free dockyards. This is really expensive to just keep this up, but... Um, for now, just stay here. Is there a focus on for naval construction? Don't think... Oh, naval production. Yes, there is. Okay, we're gonna go into that soon. Um, just gonna finish the early cast effort, and then we'll go into naval production. Well, I tried, but um, I, th I think the, the result was worth it um, for now. We have very little to keep control over, so I think it still has been a beneficial thing. All right, let's uh, get some research in this done. I'm gonna let, let these episodes run a little bit longer because of a intermediate war period. I think it's a little bit more 
uh, fair. Like, there's nothing really much happening to just increase the... the um, all right, we got some more manpower. Good. I don't. That, that's pretty good. Uh, let's just uh, keep adding on. We got some fighters left, so uh, there we go. We lost a the button there for a second. Okay, we gotten some very shitty expedition expeditionary divisions. <laughs> Let's just disband these. These guys are not any good, so could have just probably modified them now that I realize it. Superiority mission efficiency. Alright, need a lot more oil. Let's try with the Russians more. It's only ideal, but mm. It is what it is. All right. Um, yeah, it's just England is is an even more impenetrable fortress than it is normally. So it's gonna be annoying to break her, but I think we'll we'll get there in the end. There also, kinds of French events. It probably has to do with the uh, Norse weird war between a certain time. So it automatically just picks the, you know, re recognize those events as, hey, this is apparently important. Alright, just gonna put in some production prep for uh, when we get more control over anything. So get Madagascar, we got some islands everywhere. Alright, let's see, we even got some pieces here and here and right there and right, yeah, right there, you know, France had territory all around the world. We even have parts right here and here. We could actually do a Chinese invasion if we would like to. Get this thing constructed. Alright, there we go. And I actually missed one there. Still think I need more... Hey, that's my... Nope. Well, it's three manpower. Uh, tank gun, tank armor. Probably need both. I don't know, does the system realize that? Armor or gun? Alright, well. Wait. Requires the following technologies. Ah, uh, it does, so. They managed to uh, be like, hey, you know, a tank action needs both. Right, uh, let's see, what is the naval presence here? That's air. There are 28 ships. Fleeting being. Battleship organization and destruction. How good is this guy that leads this uh, fleet? Uh, he's with the best we have. Alright. Get some more manpower. This keeps giving me more troops and I'll just keep disbanding them and gain the manpower out of them. <laughs> right, naval production it is. Did I just... Yeah, I did select it, alright. It's gotta be important to produce as much of it as we can. How we're looking on aircraft. How can we lose, be losing daily equipment according to this? Oh, we don't. I think we might have had a bomber problem for a second or something. I don't know. Now, it technically strikes ships, but I think because it has, they have no naval attack, it doesn't. Alright, so we could get another bomber wing going and start bombing England. Um, they m will oppose this. But they are not really doing them that well. Hmm... Let's see, can I do... There we go. Let's get these guys to go in England. They will get the first new aircraft. Look at them, that circle grows immediately. Yeah, let's just start bombing England. Get some fighters in there, which are superior in range and everything. 
More manpower. Holy shit, the game is trying to tell me something. Like, hey, dummy. There's more manpower. Yeah, and I, did this give me free manpower? Well, core states mod, not necessary so far. Anyway, we're at 30 minutes, so I, I'm actually, I'm gonna end the episode here. Well, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.